Good evening. Good evening, one and all. Welcome to Leaders Connect 360. Leaders Connect 360 is initiated by Bija Training and organized by the Mass Leadership. My name is Archana. Leaders Connect 360 is started with the specific objective of inviting 1,000 plus leaders and creating a million leaders. A hybrid model leadership community where every Wednesday from 6.30 p.m. to 7.50 p.m. we learn from top management leaders on Zoom, live, and once in three months in each city, we will also have an offline networking meet to network, support, and grow with the leaders. That's when we call us Leaders Create More Leaders. Currently, all are muted, and we will be giving you an opportunity to speak to our guest, Mr. Sandeep Singh Gupta, Vice President and Global Lead Cybersecurity at HSBC. But before that, let me also share that we are currently live on Facebook, live on LinkedIn, and in this episode, LC081, is being recorded. For the visitors who are joining for the first time, you may also click on the WhatsApp, FB, and LinkedIn link on the chat box to get updates on weekly basis and join us in creating more leaders. Also, we request all our members and visitors to turn on your videos, which will help us in making the episode highly interactive. So are we all ready to interact with our guest, Mr. Sandeep Sengupta on the topic of affiliative style of leadership? Then please type yes in the chat box. Perfect, very good. So thank you. Before the introduction of the guest, let me also take the privilege to introduce founder of the Leaders Connect, Mr. Prakash Sharma, who will have an interaction with our guest along with a panel discussion reader. I welcome you all. Great. Thank you very much, uh, Archana, for an awesome uh, uh, welcome note uh, for the Leaders Connect 360. And uh, welcome all the uh, uh, first, welcome uh, Sandeep Sen Gupta, welcome our guest of honor here today, and all the panel discussion leader, as well as all our members and the guests who are here with us today. So welcome. And uh, here is where an opportunity today, a specific topic which I've taken, which is called affiliative style of leadership and managing stakeholders. So yes, so much more to learn. So and understand from uh, the, uh, Mr. Sandeep Sengupta's experience. So without uh, wasting much of a time, let me quickly introduce on a, a personal information about Sandeep, let me share. And we have a video introduction about Sandeep as well on a professional note. So uh, on the uh, personal note, uh, Mr. Sandeep Sengupta is married uh, with Ms. Uh, Devalina Das. She works in uh, TCS as a project lead. And uh, Mr. Sandeep's favorite sport has been cricket. And uh, he is located from Pune. So much more to know about Sandeep's uh, professional experience. So here is the video about Mr. Sandeep. So as the video is played in the meantime, uh, we'll also, I'd like to also to uh, uh, introduce our panel discussion leader, Mr. Nella Nayagam. So welcome uh, Mr. Nella Nayagam and welcome uh, uh, Sandeep. Welcome Mr. Sandeep. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thanks a lot for your introduction, uh, Prakash and Archana. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to be a part of uh, this session. Wonderful. That's a great honor that you have joined us with us today, Sandeep. And uh, your professional video is actually getting ready and there's been a hindrance. We'll just look at it. And we also have our uh, panel discussion leader for this particular topic, Mr. Nellai Nayagam. I would also take the privilege to introduce Mr. Nellai Nayagam uh, to all. Uh, and his, uh, he is Mr. Nellai is married to Ms. Gomati and uh, in functional safety and cybersecurity and networking as such. And uh, Mr. Nellai has uh, two kids, uh, Sai Lakshmi and Sai Sanskriti, and both are studying in sixth and LKG. Mr. Nellai's hobbies are reading books. And uh, the common aspect I would call within the homework Nellai and Sandeep is both of their favorite sport is cricket. Oh. So that's great. <laughs> Good to know. And he's located from Chennai. So let's have the video introduction about for Sandeep and for Nellai here, professional video. Yes, sir. Thank you. 
Okay, wow, that's an awesome video. Thanks very much for joining us, Mr. Sandeep, as well as Mr. Nellai. Thanks a lot, yeah, thank you. Thanks very much, uh, it's been really great. And uh, a warm introduction about Nellai has also been shared. So thanks very much, Nellai, for the specific topic to join us as a panel discussion leader, which is affiliative leadership style and stakeholder management. And a lot of understandings are there amongst, I'm sure we all are here today, here are the leaders and visitors who are there today. And I will also introduce our uh, author of the week, Ms. Sri Devi, when it comes in between. Thanks very much uh, for joining us, Ms. Sri Devi. And we will do that so. But let's get started on the specific topic, affiliative leadership style and stakeholder management. So over to you, Nelai and Sandeep for a fruitful discussion. Thank you, sir. Uh, good evening, one and all. Uh, thanks to Vijay Training and uh, Mr. Prakash Sharma for this opportunity yeah. as a panel discussion leader. Uh, dear Sandeep, sir, and our leaders would like to uh, learn from your uh, sharing of valuable experience and leadership insights. I'm just uh, representing the on behalf of our members. And our members have a few questions, and your answers will enlighten us. Yeah. Uh, may we know uh, on the topic, and may we, may we know uh, in our view what is affiliative leadership? And any examples as a affiliative uh, leaders? Yeah, definitely. So affiliative leadership, you know, it's one of the you know unique style of uh, leadership that's uh, really coming up uh, along a lot of uh, fortune companies, and uh, you know, it helps you to you know promote harmony and uh, respect among your peers and fellow followers and within the team. And um, this is uh, you know quite a number of companies, not only in HSBC but American Express that. Uh, we have, uh, you know, seen a lot of change uh, being initiated by helping uh, every individual uh, follow this kind of a leadership style. You know, uh, you know, there are autocratic style of leadership. There are, uh, you know, um, you know, passive style of leadership. But you know, this is the most best way every organization is trying to shape up. You know, because it not only uh, creates an respect for employees within the organization, but it also gives an opportunity for every individual within the peers and the teams to grow. Uh, you know, very good example, if you see, you know, Warren Buffett, the Lai Lama, you know, these are, they're great leaders, you know, in respective field that they have, you know, they have created, you know, a, a feeling of passion, discipline, and, uh, you know, respect among each others. And this is some of the best leaders that we can know, you know, in, in the common world that we see. You know, every organization, you know, has some leaders to look upon, but, uh, you know, just to generalize, these are the, you know, few peoples that we always feel are, uh, you know, very much promoting, uh, you know, this leadership that, uh, affiliative leadership that we get to see, you know, across uh, various people and individuals. Yes, sir, as you as rightly said, and uh, the current yeah. trend, the respect is much more important in the work culture. Yeah, as you said, in the Talai Lama, he's uh, teaching compassion and dedication inspires gives their followers and uh, make us the uh, affiliative leader. Yeah, yes, sir. Right. As you said, uh, yeah, uh, if it is a fortune company, because we are, uh, we have seen uh, many uh, authoritative leadership in the past and uh, and even uh, we have a uh, uh, belief that that is the best uh, uh, leadership style also. I hope the trend is changing. Yeah, now. and more than this, you know, yeah. Yeah, that trend is changing because, you know, it's very much important that every individual, you know, it's finally every individual makes an organization. So yes. every individual should be given the opportunity to speak, to, you know, come up with their thought processes and all, you know, even when I, you know, I have a big team. So uh, every individual, irrespective of the, you know, the level they are or, you know, they are a contributor to the organization, to a, a plan or to a project or to, you know, a decision that we're taking. So, you know, we believe this is, you know, the an employee or the people are the strong pillars of any organization and affiliative style of leadership and stakeholder management. Finally, you know, appropriates into the stakeholder management is very much important that we give every individual an opportunity, you know. So, do, so we do various, uh, you know, initiatives to, promote this kind of, uh, you know, leadership where, uh, you know, we have set up small projects where we ask them to, you know, uh, plan these projects across various verticals 
uh, especially you know in HSBC that we we promote this a lot across various businesses where they feel uh, you know comfortable enough to be a part of a project to drive uh, you know initiative. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the primary factor that we have seen is that this style of leadership has helped us to reduce, uh, you know, even the attrition that we see across okay. various businesses, you know, Be- yeah, because it is very uh, individualistic kind of an approach where every person feels accountable, is a part of a project, is a part of a organization, is a part of a plan that we are trying to move ahead with. Um, and uh, it gives them a lot of recognition. So, one of the things you know with this is also that how you recognize the people you know in a forum or uh, you know uh, you know in an award celebration that we uh, we do try to do every quarterly you know we we go very big bang and we socialize it across not only in india but uh, you know in uk and other countries that we promote so this uh, is very much being propagated across our business the affiliative style of leadership that we are trying to follow and uh, it's very helpful, you know, even in terms of the stakeholder management that we try to do. Yes, sir. Uh, as you rightly said, uh, the opportunity, giving opportunity is a, a, a very uh, um, a relevant one as well as uh, when the people right. are uh, uh, understood uh, their value or when we are recognizing their value, definitely uh, yeah. they can uh, do the uh, much more uh, uh, um, <clears throat> activity and as well as uh, they will feel uh, automatically they will it was uh, it will help of uh, help them uh, on the motivation uh, front also yes sir uh, we have one and more and one of the things uh, yes. yeah yeah yes sir go ahead sorry go ahead yeah, yeah go ahead, no, go ahead. please please so one of the things which we which i try to do a lot you know in this style of leadership is i try to do a one to one with every individual and you know seek their opinion when we are trying to take a you know decision across um you know various businesses and all uh, you know every viewpoints are being uh, accounted for every viewpoints are being heard before we move forward you know and take a call or take a decision on how we want to progress you know on any uh, you know platform or project that we are trying to work or anything that we are trying to deliver a lot of uniqueness comes out of it you know every individual you know has a you know starts thinking out of the box and feels that uh, you know that bonding comes into existence where they feel that okay you know uh, you know we are ourselves individually leaders within the organization and you know we are getting that kind of a platform and respect so that is what i just wanted to cite you know uh, which is very helpful for every organization to grow in the long run yes sir uh... Yes, I, I think you have already uh, answered uh, part of that uh, also. We have, uh, um, we maybe know uh, what is the best way to encourage the organization to have more affiliative uh, leaders. Right. So one of the things which I always try to do and which, uh, you know, we do it in a lot of other organizations also you have heard is something called as a brown bag luncheon with that we try to promote, you know, where every individual, you know, maybe, uh, you know, once in a week, uh, you know, we, uh, you know, we pick up any project, you know, whether it is leadership, motivation, you know, cultural, or whether it is, you know, any change that we are trying to see in terms of, uh, you know, something new coming up in the, you know, business world, we try to identify that, or it could be a technology that we are trying to look at, you know, to transform, uh, you know, a business. So what we try to do is that we try to propagate that and give the person an opportunity where, you know, we have people coming in from UK, uh, you know, Singapore, India, all, you know, you know, in a room and hearing every individual thought process. And, you know, there's a discussion around it, which, uh, you know, where we come up with, okay, this is how we should think about, this is the new roadmap we should, uh, you know, move into. Also, you know, we create small projects, you know, within a group where uh, we handpick different people from different expertise, you know, once is a, if one is a, you know, transformation, the other person may be, uh, you know, more from a, you know, development background, or there may be somebody from a business background. So we create this kind of uh, a project. And one of the things that I try to see is that, you know, every individual has a skill set. And that is what you need to identify within that individual. And once you bring them all together, and you give them the affiliative authority to work, automatically, you know, uh, things start shaping up in the right direction. Because, you know, one view may not be absolutely may 
be correct you know correct viewpoints of every individual helps you to, to uh, you know make and finally the organization is of people you know so you should mold that kind of a leadership and propagate that kind of a leadership within the people and the group that is what we try to do you know and um, also you know as i said we reward a lot of people you know through various platforms you know uh, Uh, every quarterly every monthly we have some of the other certificates we sponsor uh, a lot of uh, you know learning and development within the individuals also through this leadership where uh, you know there are various uh, linkedin degree pages that they can go and do their certification sir uh, as you said that uh, you are uh, handling that uh, um, various field and uh, you are handling the various uh, cultures and uh, as you said using the facts and intention what people wants and what they don't want and uh, their uh, their expertise or uh, their own uh, skill set or their own um, uh, points on each elements has been uh, considered and uh, it's a really uh, wonderful uh, things sir uh, yes Sir, you can call uh, me Sandeep. Yeah, uh, you know. Yeah, name, okay. Could refer me okay. by the first name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please, yeah. Okay. Um, I would like to know that uh, as you mentioned that uh, stakeholders also in the uh, uh, previous conversation. Then, as a leader, uh, what are the challenges uh, one uh, needs to keep in their mind, and when we are managing uh, stakeholders? Yeah, different. So, so every stakeholder, you know, has a different perspective. You know. you know so you know you are managing different stakeholders and sometimes you know how do you want to look at every individual's viewpoint is different different you know so you know maybe something uh, from a stakeholder management may work out for one individual may not work out for the other individual correct you know um you know sometimes people are you know within the stakeholder management they could be autocratic no do it in this way <laughs> but uh, you know some places are okay you know sandeep let's look at your viewpoint so that becomes a little bit of a challenge you know maneuvering and every country has a different style of working you know you know even within the european countries that we support you know their uh, the, uh, their style of working is very different in terms of the cultural bond so that also impacts your a little bit on the stakeholder uh, that you you know come across um also you know one of the things that uh, we do see is the input and viewpoints that we get from one stakeholder may be different from the other stakeholder uh so you know we have to balance it out and see how best we can keep everybody at bay or you know keep everybody happy so that's uh, one of the difficult tasks that we do encounter a lot uh, you know uh, when you are in a global role uh also you know there could be instances where um, you identify some individual to do a project and uh, you know it may not be delivered at the same level so uh, it's very much important that you hand pick the correct people for the correct uh, job you know somebody as i said earlier you know may be good uh, financially may not be good from a technical standpoint or may not be good from an automation standpoint so we have to pick and handle and then you know also understand how the stakeholders behavior is you know to to him or her because you know it could have a ripple effect uh, or downstream impact to you know various processes correct various uh, you know element of uh, uh, you know business over a period of time yeah i agree then uh, when you have said even i thought that how you are managing the uh, stakeholders on this sometimes and there could be a conflict because there is a two different element and viewpoint uh, I, uh, you rightly said and we have to balance that uh, uh, both of or all uh, stakeholders uh, viewpoint and as well as we have to look on the deliverables how we are uh, meeting that uh, stakeholders requirements right uh, i right, hope uh, right. then the maintaining a good relationship with these uh, stakeholders uh, may a uh, uh, balance between uh, each other's viewpoint yeah it tries to but there are sometimes you know difference of opinion that do happens and sometimes you know one person's input may uh, may not be acceptable by the other person so you know that also creates a challenge sometimes yeah uh, yes uh, yeah that will make a, some a sometimes a challenging one because it won't we won't have a boring uh, work life right yeah yeah so something that we try to implement as i said you know if we do an implementation of some uh, you know project that we deliver in a european country may not be acceptable well in a 
you know, may, may not be acceptable in Australia or may not be acceptable in Singapore. And uh, maybe it's acceptable in US, but may not be acceptable in, uh, you know, a LATAM country. So we have to keep everybody's individual perspective in mind and come to a common platform. Uh, you know, this is what we will move forward with. So the, those are the few uh, see, right challenges said, that we yes. do need. Because uh, when we are working in a European uh, companies, the European style is totally different. When we are working with the Japanese yeah. customers, then Japanese customers expect uh, something and uh, our uh, European uh, working style will be uh, different. Sometimes matching uh, both their, uh, uh, um, uh, the viewpoint uh, will be um, some, somewhat sometimes uh, uh, complex. Yeah, we have handled uh, such a projects also. <coughs> yeah, I agree on that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in your experience, and uh, what do you, uh, where do you think the affiliative leadership works better, or uh, is it like a like-minded people, or with a different style of uh, leaders, and why? <clears throat> so sometimes you know affiliative is it's well acceptable across the globe right now, and everybody is going through that adaption process, where everybody is accepting this, <clears throat> you know, uh, you know, this style of. Uh, thought process but there are some you know old school of thought that you know do it in this way do it in that way so we we need to adapt to that those kind of situation also but especially the people who are now coming through right now uh, you know uh, you know they they really appreciate this viewpoint where uh, every individual is made accountable for is well appreciated that okay take them into the project you know take them along and uh, you know it, it improves the morale of the team also you know so um, as I said, it is getting adapted across a lot of countries, but uh, few people, you know, there could be exception who still feel that the autocratic style of working is is better. But uh, you know, we are seeing some, uh, we are seeing a lot of change in the approach now. Uh, yes, sir. And uh, uh, what you said is right. And because uh, uh, sometimes uh, uh, this particular affiliative leadership may look like a. a we are uh, considering more of emotions or uh, we are uh, more uh, towards that uh, team's view rather than uh, deploying our own uh, viewpoints. Uh, and that's why uh, the, um, the old thoughts of uh, schools and all, they are thinking uh, autocratic uh, uh, leadership will be a better one to uh, speed up the things or getting the things right and all. Yeah, I can understand because when we are uh, so pa parents and even we have seen that what our parents are uh, taught us and how we are doing so entirely totally different and we cannot do the same thing uh, or same style of uh, leadership uh, in our own uh, family life also i agree with your point sir right so it's like if you go even in my team if i tell somebody we need to do it right now uh, you know uh, it will it will not be appreciated. But when I tell somebody that, okay, take your time, understand the pros and cons and then deliver it. The outcome I see is much better, you know, than, you know, telling somebody to do it right now. Because, you know, if you are at ease at your own self and if you keep that ease across the team, you know, the output turns out to be very good that I have noticed. Yeah, great, sir. Yeah, I, I, I can able to feel uh, my own uh, new leader because uh, um, I have uh, reporting to a, a new team almost in the last six months. Yeah, I can uh, uh, correlate with my uh, own, uh, my uh, new boss and he's uh, always uh, giving this uh, value system and he will always try to listen what we're saying or he will uh, also he will get a feedback and how uh, should be and all. Uh, yeah, we, I can able to correlate uh, so many things. Yeah, and also I can uh, learn whatever you said, and we will adapt in my own uh, team also. Really helpful, sir. Yeah. Nelly, that's a good point which you called out because you, it's very much important if you follow this kind of a leadership, a relative style of leadership, you have to be a very good listener because uh, you know it's a very key, essential pillar to uh, your successful career, to the individual successful career with whom you are working because it's uh, you know. We all are mentoring each other, you know, in this, uh, you know, in this process. So if you're not a good listener, then you'll never be successful, you know. So, you know, exactly. that's very much integral part that, uh, you know, you listen to every individual and take their viewpoints, take them in the journey. And so that everybody's accountable and, you know, it's not an individual deliverable, looking, but we are looking at a group deliverable at the end of the day. Yes, sir, you're rightly said. Uh, uh, Sandeep sir and uh, really wonderful insights uh, yeah. about this affiliated leadership style and uh, stakeholder management. Happy to interact with you and uh, learn a lot from your experience. Uh, thank you sir. 
and uh, over to uh, Prakash no sir. Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Sir. Thanks very much, uh, Nelay, for the awesome questions asked uh, uh, with our uh, guest of honor, Mr. Sandeep. So, and thanks, Sandeep, for sharing your experiences. That's been awesome. Thank you. I really liked uh, one phrase which you used. I am not too sure by experience the phrase came or was it coined phrased up, but I did make a note of it, which was every viewpoint is heard before we go forward. So it's very important. It's heard before we go forward. It's very nicely shared, in fact. And then, uh, yeah, definitely it's very necessary that before even we take a step forward, every person's viewpoint is heard. It's come up very nicely as a phrase. Huh? Maybe we can find it as a thumb rule in LA. <laughs> That's uh, wonderfully shared, Sandeep. Thanks very much. And uh, awesome, all the uh, uh, guests and uh, the respective uh, visitors, as well as the members who are here now. And uh, we're going to share uh, the LinkedIn IDs of uh, Mr. Sandeep, Mr. Nella, and our author of the week, Mr. Sri Devi's as well, where through which we'll be able to connect with each other and you can stay connected on LinkedIn, which will add more value in case you wish to stay connected with them. So to all the uh, uh, members and visitors, now is the time for us for a quick quiz. And then is where I will, before the quiz, I will also like to, uh, in fact, uh, introduce Ms. Uh, Shri Devi Srinivasan. So uh, yes, Ms. Shri Devi, uh, we welcome you, ma'am, here on the Leaders Connect platform as the author of the week. Welcome you, Ms. Uh, Mr. Devi. Thank you so much. Good evening, one and all present here. I'm extremely happy and delighted to be part of this meeting as author of the week. Now, okay, uh, is it the I'll time just for explain, me? share yeah. about you, and then I'll give you an opportunity, Mr. Devi. Yeah, sure. So, uh, definitely. So, members and visitors, every week we also invite an author along with our uh, guest of honor, like today, how Mr. Sandeep has joined where uh, we always feel that even authors share their inputs and insights and explain about their book, what they have written. And it's a good platform to share ourselves. So let me give you a quick uh, update about Sri Devi or introduce Sri Devi. And then we would like to uh, know about your book, Sri Devi, in a nutshell, about the book, Mindful Ways to Raise uh, Readers, right? What is that? What readers? Confident Reader. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. That's an excellent book which you've written. Good one. Thanks for keeping it behind. So it was easy for me to read it. <laughs> so yes, uh, for all the participants, Ms. Sri Devi Srinivasan is the founder of uh, League of Little Legends, an educator, entrepreneur, trainer, and a professional storyteller as well. She conducts reading programs for students and schools, and uh, she has vast areas of experience. She's a founder of... Uh, Udavum Karangal as well, a non-profit initiator. And uh, League of Little Legends offers structured holistic reading programs, storytelling-based communication development programs, and much more. Even it could be in Telugu, Hindi, and all the different other aspects as well. So much more to know about uh, Ms. Devi. I maybe I've cut short Sri Devi just in the interest of time, but people love to know more about you as well. But rather than more you, a little bit more the book. If you can just share in a nutshell about the book, which will add more value to our guests who are here today as well as the members. Over to you, uh, Sri Devi, for the next two minutes. Okay, I believe you're muted again. I've given option to unmute. Please. Sri. Thank you so much. Also, I have already told my greetings to you all. Good evening, everyone. So can I see some of you on the video? I'd like to really speak. I'm a storyteller. I'd like to connect with emotions of everyone. So. <laughs> Requesting that if it is possible, you can switch on your video. Thank yeah, you so yeah. much. And uh, yeah, how many of you like to read books? You can raise your hands or, yeah, fantastic, fantastic. Okay, mm -hmm. how many of you are ferocious book readers? I can't sleep without reading a book. Oh. oh okay. Very, very how many of you? <laughs> yeah, how many of you will sleep as soon as you read a book? This is yeah, a very I can practical question. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. I know most of us uh, have this habit of sleeping when we read books. Of course, I was also in such a category when I was young. And as I grew up, all this, you know, later on, I understood, you know, I should have read it better, uh, read the books better. I want to be a book reader, but I don't know how and all that. 
But later when I went to US along with my son, I had a golden opportunity to learn how to inculcate reading to children, young children, in a very interesting way. When I returned back to India, I saw that the way my son is taking up his studies and the other children are taking up studies are completely different. He easily reads every lesson as a story and he writes exams as he understood. He sometimes forgets what exam he's going to write, but he will get good marks. That is one point of view. And so when I wanted to analyze other children who came in the nearby area, I understood that reading is the pain point for most of the children. I need to say reading means reading the text and understanding what they read with the proper context built in their mind. So this is a very complex cognitive task or uh, the development in a human brain. And if we do this in the very early years, this becomes a wonderful habit for the children. And once you can imagine, you know, it's like giving, sending them into the virtual reality space where they can read, they can get into the space of the particular book and learn everything from that space, isn't it? So that's really amazing to give as a gift. And if you think it's going to be a stressing out task for small children, absolutely no. This is the wonderful, lovable journey, the process where you get bonded with your child through the book. And you want to know how? Then you have to read my book, Mindful Ways to Raise Confident Readers, where I'm telling right from the time of the, of the conception. Okay, so if, you're, if you are in such stage or if your friends are you know, married recently and going to give birth to child, then definitely do think about gifting this book because what I'm trying to focus is to create readers who can change their lives once forever, right? Once they start reading, then life is going to be easy for them. They are just going to read, learn whatever they want to learn from anywhere from the world. So that is what I want to do. That is my ultimate goal. I'm working towards it. And this book is a contribution for that focus, for that goal. So thank you for this golden opportunity. I request each and every one of you to go through the book read, share your reviews and do connect with me in LinkedIn. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sri Devi. That was really awesome. Just created a story for us to understand the importance of reading the books and then how can we make more confident readers. Definitely, members, look forward if you wish to uh, get the book uh, online. Yes, always there. The link for the author uh, of for this respective book of Ms. Sri Devi is also on the chat box. So please feel free to click the link to uh, really get the book from uh, Ms. Sri Devi. So thanks, Sri Devi. And as we also discussed with the quiz leader, I believe, Sri Devi, one of your book is as complimentary. Am I right, Sri Devi? Yeah. Okay, good, good. Thanks very much. So now is the quiz participants and all the leaders, members, as well as the visitors here. A quick quiz on respective uh, points which Mr. Sandeep Sen Gupta has shared. So... Whatever point, I'm sure you all have been listening to Mr. Sandeep Sen Gupta for the past 20, 25 minutes. So I would request all the people, all the leaders here to write on the chat box, fastest fingers first, to write on the chat box any three important benefits of implementing affiliative leadership style. What are the three important benefits? I'm sure he has highlighted so many benefits, but any three important benefits of implementing affiliative leadership style. Quickly, it's on. The chat box is what we're going to see. Relationship with peers. One, any three, any three, Bharat. Thanks very much for participating, but three, three. Three gets the book uh, complimentary of Ms. Sri Devi, Mindful Ways to Raise Confident Readers. Three points. Many points, in fact, Sandeep Sen Gupta shared. Three benefits which could be there. And that will really great add value. Looking forward, my, uh, all the members, visitors, as well as other leaders in this community and leaders connect. Good, good. So, okay, Khali Mullah Sharif. Thanks very much for joining Khali Mullah. I see his relationship. Kumar, every point heard before. <laughs> oh, that's the second one. <laughs> okay, that's, that's a part of a, 
uh, his phrase it became okay and ellen i can say understand others viewpoints motivation recognition team members value okay okay that's also good so the three benefits are maybe yeah many more benefits but we not shall he said my much more answers let me see let me give you another 30 seconds more for the answers thanks nelly for sharing your views as well yes our, our in this two points are there already in ellen your unique okay wow okay vasanthi ji yes, thanks hey, hi vasanthi good to see your message as well give opportunity uniqueness comes out of the fitness and take hold of your point yes most of the points are rightly shared excellently done but at least uh, in fact uh, bharat as well as uh, vasanthi your point is also view kalimula says relationship recognition yeah 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 two points kalimula definitely yes this comes more better so uh, maximum is at least two points in we are talking about specific is from kalivo love we have talked about relationship and recognition others shared your views but more appropriate i would take maybe from kalivo la relationship to recognition one more we have accountability three we have more of giving opportunity in fact uh, these are the pointers which you shared much more points are there but Uh, how shall we share the book now kalimulla shared one point bharat shared one point <laughs> she said we need to take a call now all have shared one one point and vasanthi has shared one point <laughs> let's go by the person who has shared first okay the first person who has written the chat box is mr bharat bharat kumar wonderful you become the winner for this particular book mindfulness mindful ways for to raise confident readers congratulations bharat for getting this book as complimentary can you all clap hands for bharat and congratulate bharat on the chat box as well congrats bharat <laughs> good so uh, bharat since you are re uh, got this particular book as complimentary you get an opportunity to interact with our Guest of honor, Mr. Sandeep, initially, and feel free if you have any questions. But before we go to Bharat, now it's open time for questions. All the members and visitors, this is the time for open questions to ask Ms. Mr. Sandeep Sen Gupta on to the specific topic: affiliative leadership style and stakeholder management. If you have any open questions, two ways to ask: either one. we raise your hand and we give you an opportunity to unmute you and then you can ask the question directly to mr sandeep or two in case if you wish to type your question in the chat box type them on the chat box and we take the question on your behalf and ask it to our guest of honor mr sandeep so the two ways and if you wish to also ask any question to ms sri devi as well who is a part of the author of the week that also will be always adding value to any one of these we can ask questions and we are here for you so first let's go to mr bharat Bharat, since you are the uh, uh, winner of the uh, book, so quickly you get an opportunity to ask any question if you have any. Bharat, start. Let's see one. And like I... introduce yourself, Bharat. That will add more value first. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Actually, uh, I think this is the first, second session for me. Thanks for your opportunity. And um, yeah, regularly I used to watch uh, your WhatsApp messages, but unfortunately due to time limitation, I could not be able to join several times. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, um, thanks to all. Uh, so, I am Bharat Kumar. I based out of Bangalore. I work for a company called CET Power Solutions as a regional sales manager. I am representing for India, Bangladesh, and Sri Lanka regions. And uh, so, we are into power electronics products. We have a factory in Chennai in Kattupattu. And uh, so, this is overall uh, introduction about me. and then just uh, i have one question in fact uh, related to this affiliative uh, leadership uh, before that uh, he talked about i mean he has mentioned about authoritative a little louder if it can be a bharat it add value yeah yeah uh, so just i wanted to know uh, uh, see uh, previously we were with uh, authority to type of uh, leadership where our mm. bosses used to say uh, and then we used to follow them and even today also we are doing the same but okay uh, things are changing uh, where humanitarian uh, is coming first to the uh, in front of the other activities i agree for it so uh, 
how long this can continue i mean how, whether it will continue in the same manner or uh, do you think that it will change uh, uh, yeah. the situation because uh, if you are having a balancing work life that is different uh, uh, but engaging with people uh, in all aspects uh, like as you give one example like um, we have to give value to the other employees also so uh, will it be more efficient uh, effective and efficient that's what my question okay. yeah, so it's yes, uh, you know yeah so <clears throat> we have seen uh, bharat you know there has been a radical change across uh, all countries globally especially even in india that we have noticed is that when we follow this live uh, you know the style of uh, leadership uh the accountability has improved uh, you know it uh, also uh, gives every individual an opportunity to speak up you know and as i said you know which i called it out we have seen a remarkable change in the attrition uh you know across the various businesses you know which has been a very impactful thing um also uh, you know um what we are trying to create is an environment of uh, uh, you know individuality which helps every individual uh, to come up uh, and speak and be a leader by himself rather than you know not go by uh, you know organizational grades or anything uh, you know at a you know it is always acceptable that okay somebody who is at a higher grade is more powerful no that does not work because you know people at the ground level they run these operation and i have noticed you know especially you know not only my team but other teams uh the mindfulness or the the way the thought processes are quite different uh you know than what you at an individual level can think and uh, you know organization is of people so the more opportunity you give them the better it will uh, you know nurture grow the development for them you know uh, you know a lot of things people today what we try to do is in one of the leadership style is that friday that we we try to not have meetings after 6 6:30 because you know it gives every individual uh, you know work life balance uh, you know it gives uh, every individual a uh, you know sense of attainment um, and uh, you know it's, it's it boosts the moral of every individual you know so these are the few initiatives that we are trying to take you know where uh, you know we have as i said you know a brown bag lunch and where they come up with the project we set up a lot of you know when we see any opportunity coming we treat it as a project first and we get all like minded people you know, with different skill sets and then bring them you know together and that has seen a lot of success then you know every you know focusing the whole project on one person and then not delivering it mm, okay and if the accountability sh- shift starts moving across the project gets delivered more better so 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 great great right wonderful uh, sandeep but i believe you, you got uh, uh, the answer for your respective question as well but i uh, awesome question to ask thanks very much and sandeep uh, i also really did like the uh, phrase i mean what you're talking about is every friday making and ensuring that every friday no meetings after 6:30 pm this is good and if that has been implemented a lot of value add happens we are really listening to the respective employees all the employees because so many meetings happens because going to be the weekend so stretch your weekend complete all the meetings then go i mean the respect of industry to industry may differ but yeah friday na friday evening after 6:30 no meetings is a very big step is what i would say an awesome step in fact uh, as it is busy which you're taking this itself shows the openness in the culture to understand and uh, show the empathy towards the people or the uh, people who are working or the all the employees and stakeholders wonderful very rightly said yes. an awesome point and, and it's also much- the bharat is also the individual behavior you know that is very mm-hmm. much important like you know where i you know i um, you know i was sit down with my team you know so uh, you know when i work with them so uh people find it difficult who is the boss over there because we all are bosses on the floor <laughs> true <laughs> yeah and that that's that's we're treating everyone equally that's that's yeah case. that's that's helpful yeah 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 
great great wonderful sandeep uh, so uh, quickly uh, all the members and guests any other questions if you have you can ask or sri devi if you have any question to ask mr sandeep you can ask as we come to an end of summarizing what we have discussed all the 720 we understand we little behind sandeep it's okay can we take another 5 minutes yeah definitely sure sure uh, no episode yeah great Yeah. So sure. any other please questions, a member, the visitors? Yes, Sri Devi. If you have any, please go ahead. Yeah, sure. Like I would like to ask, you know, what kind of organizations can have this affiliative kind of um, leadership style? Um, since it is your bank organization, right? So um, you have deliverables, and it has to be, it has to go with a teamwork or a synergy, so it works well. What kind of other organizations will better suit uh, into this? affiliate style of reach so lot of c one of the good organization that i would say is uh, you know american express also which uh, you know it's a great place to work and uh, you know they have seen a radical change you know in terms of the style of working in uh, in the way uh, you know we were working even uh, when i was with uh, you know the logistic based company siva you know every individual was uh, you know given an opportunity to speak up and uh, you know talk and uh, you know there was an open door policy that we had you know if if uh, you know you had a challenge you had a problem you could just walk up to your boss and speak to him that you, know, you didn't have to go to his executive assistant take a you know meeting appointment and then you know uh, you know anything that you feel is uh, you know is not you're comfortable enough or you have a you know you want to be heard out you want to be heard out you know you can just walk in and uh, you know you could uh, you know speak to the specific uh, boss or the representative for that business you know so that was you know one of the greatest thing that i could see thank you uh, sorry i was on mute thanks very much for the questions yeah. asked by sri devi good and wonderfully shared sandeep thanks for the uh, awesome uh, uh, i would say the experience sharing which is given as more understanding of what could be taken and then where and how can we really share it with our own companies where we are working and even if our current organization right. all the members think it and even if our current organization so where if we are not having that kind of affiliate leadership style open culture isn't there can we start creating can we be such leaders from our side to initiate the affiliate style of leadership and let it go down the line from there because every organization organization needs the style of leadership and that's how we need to take it forward great so awesome input sandeep it's been really really very really, really, uh, exciting to interact with you that's been awesome and now it's come to the uh, uh, the almost the ending we do a summary and we do introduce our next week's leader but before that for all our members and visitors here you like to showcase our every three months once we have our offline networking meet which happens uh, at every city so this time we have it on 6th of august it's coming saturday at hayat agents uh, regency at uh, chennai and uh, in this networking meet all our guest of honors like how today mr sandeep sen gupta has joined so we have completed so far 80 episodes and then from all the 80 episodes from the guest of honors from chennai alone are joining together so that we have a interaction networking which helps each other to common platform and then we all network and grow together so we have it on 6th of august at chennai 13th of august at bengaluru at hotel royal orchard which all we can meet all the guest of honors who can come and mr sandeep just to share an information with respect to pune and mumbai region we are spreading our horizons will be only coming in 2023 but definitely every three months once even at those locations we are going to keep this networking meet which we started thanks very much and now is the time for a quick summary and all the pointers which you have taken and uh, our episode never ends without a summary so definitely we would like to invite a summary leader mr sendil to uh, share his views and summary about this particular topic on athlete leadership style and mr sendil uh, is from daimler india private limited into training and development in uh, in our uh, uh, you know, department so over to you sendil for a quick summary. yeah yeah thank you very much prakash and thanks uh, sandeep and thanks to the leadership forum in giving this uh, cross culture uh, sharing of information and uh, very valuable inputs on this affiliate leadership this was one of the uh, uh, best uh, informative in, uh, essence that i could able to see 
uh, thanks to sandeep once again as uh, the time is uh, pressing i would like to summarize the uh, key points of the today's discussion what we had uh, today's uh, sharing what we had first is affiliate leadership is better than the uh, autocratic style or the passive style of leadership and every individual makes the organization and third point what we are trying to bring here is uh, every employees are the real pillars of the organization and this affiliate leadership brings impact in reducing the attrition as well as to bring lot of recognition across the people and one to one discussion using this affiliate leadership with every individual helps to bring better understanding in seeking their opinion and helps the organization to grow towards the success path at the end of the day organization is nothing but people every country has a different style of working in terms of uh, culture but still this affiliative leadership still be a strong uh, tool to move with the organization the balanced stakeholders view points are always need to be considered affiliative leadership is well perceived and adopted across globe to be a successful we need to be a good listener and last but not least uh, this affiliative leadership helps in bringing or enriching the relationship recognition motivation and opportunities across people and across the uh, uh, leadership traits of organization and that's the uh, quick uh, summary from my side uh, about the point what i have taken during my travel journey from my office to home <laughs> great great awesome thanks very much for sharing that uh, quick summary please share that on the group as well yeah. and it will add more value to all the people in case people few of our members who might have missed for them it will be adding value as well Yeah. great so we come to an uh, most important and the last uh, uh, point of our episode of introducing our next week's leader and uh, for introducing next week's leader and to share the vote of thanks is where i would invite mr vinay mishra who is currently an advocate to be a part of sharing the vote of thanks and also introduce our next week leader yes vinay over to you thank you very much so uh, and uh, thank you mr uh, sandeep sen gupta so mr sandeep sen gupta has uh, given a versatile view of uh, view point which which is effective for all the leaders and to understand the international scenario and by virtue of being uh, connected with this uh, with mr sandeep uh, sen gupta through this virtual meeting we could understand the international point of view for many of the uh, things and uh, before i share the about the next week uh, leader let me quickly share again the purpose of the community the community means our the leadership uh, connect so uh, for the for, for the visitors who are attending for the first time leaders connect 360 is an hybrid model leadership community where every week on a uh, on wednesday from 6:30 to 7:15 pm we invite a top management leader from a reputed corporate company to share the solutions for our real time leadership challenges either on on uh, leading self leading others or leading your business like how you have seen mr sandeep sen gupta this leaders connect 360 online leadership community also give an opportunity to network with people on the last wednesday of every month through online and once in 3 months with a direct networking at each city like mr prakash already told you about the, the three cities so uh, so once in a 3 months we had a direct networking at each city and, and to network with or with working professionals for personal professional and social needs that's when we call it leaders creating more leaders if you wish to join our community please click, click on the whatsapp group link which is on your chat box and you will be able to join us to receive weekly updates or call us on the numbers shared on the whatsapp and then we will add you in our community so now i am happy to introduce next week leader next week leader is mr pankaj sharma so he is the uh, head hr learning and organization development hcg group and the topic will be influencing and team development members who wish to be in in the panel discussion can give your names 
on WhatsApp group or kindly interact with Mr. Arul. Please click on the uh, below link on the chat box to register yourself for our next week episode. So thank you, Mr. Sandeep Sengupta for your valuable inputs. I would like to thank Mr. Sandeep Gupta for, the, uh, for spending your valuable time and sharing your experience. Okay, thanks uh, Vinay for sharing the awesome word of thanks. And uh, let us on behalf of all, let us thank uh, uh, from my side as well uh, to Sandeep. And I would like to thank our panel discussion leader, Mr. Nellai, our author uh, who has joined us, Ms. Sri Devi, and all the leaders who have taken up the role, the quiz leader uh, and uh, the uh, respective, uh, uh, I mean, the vote of thanks leader and summary leader. Thanks for all your inputs and none other than all the visitors and members who've joined us today. And it's been a great interaction with you all. So with that, we come to an end of our episode, uh, the LC081. And uh, Sandeep, mm -hmm. we have final thanking video for you. And uh, after this is where uh, we just generally introduce each other. Uh, for all the members here, you all get to know. So now we, we have listened. So we just have a deeper understanding about each other. We get an opportunity for introducing each other after the ending video. So uh, pe people who wish to stay back, and we request you to stay back so that we get an opportunity to introduce yourself and then know each other better. So Sandeep, however, based on your time, we leave the comfortability to you in case if you wish ha, wish to continue and introduce, listen to others who are to introduce their, themselves, feel free. Or if time is pressing, it's completely fine. And here is the thank you video for all. Yes, Sandeep, if you'd like to share a point, please go ahead. Yeah, I just need to get, get into another call, so I'll have to drop off, okay? Please. Completely fine. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sandeep, for uh, 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 investing your time in building or creating more leaders, sure. I would sure. say. Thank I would you. not Thank you. as a spending time, it's more of investing time on creating more leaders. It's been awesome. And thanks very much, Sandeep, once again. We will stay in touch. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for it. Bye. And for all, the, here is the thank you video. So thank you all for being in here. And now is the time for introduction. And uh, we'll have a specific uh, understanding about each other. So quickly, all the people who are joining us one by one can always get this opportunity of introducing each other. And if you'd like to share any of your experience, also feel free to share. So we'll also stop our recording now so that we also understand each other more in deeper.